What makes an online course website work is when the website is able to redirect users or visitors on your site without your intervention. Let me show you what I mean. So over here, we have this diagram and this pretty much shows what happens when people come to your website. So let's say we have a courses page. So ideally, you want a situation where a student comes to the courses page, clicks on the course and goes straight to the course and start learning. But if that visitor to your website is not a student, ideally, you want them to click on the course, take them to the course sales page. And then if you have upsells, you can do your upsells, downsells, and so on. And then finally, take, a, take you to your checkout page. Now, the reason why this is very important is because you want to make sure that your website highly automates the majority of the work without your intervention because it saves you a lot of time and it's just seamless for all your visitors. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in today's video coming up. So before we begin, I'd like to remind you that if you buy any of the plugins that I have in the video description below, you get access to my courses that teach you how to set up your own online course website. All right, so let's dive in and let's get started. So over here, as I mentioned, we have this diagram here, which pretty much simulates how things should work. Now, over here, let's set it up on our own website. So the very first thing you need to do is to come over here to learn dash and then you want to click on add-ons. So the add-on that we need is this one called Learn Dash Course Grid. Now I've already gone ahead and activated it. So it's already set up on my system. Very good and good to go. All right. The next pay, the next stage is to set up your courses page. Now this page is very important because you want people to be able to land onto this page and see what courses you offer. So what we're going to do is to uh, go to all pages here. Now I've already gone ahead and set up this my, pay, uh, my courses page. And let me just show you what it looks like. I'm going to open this in a new tab. Now, to be honest, I haven't gone in and designed everything because I just want to show you the system and then we can do designs in um, other videos or even if you really want to go deep and learn how to set up, set this up yourselves, you can sign up for my course on funnels to income.com. So right now I'm just showing you the system and how it's supposed to work. So these are my two courses, as you can see, how to create a web, uh, how to create a course and my courses. So this is what this course grid allows us to do. Now, if I click on enable visual builder, I'm just going to show you the short code that you're supposed to enter for these courses to show. So if I click here on this gear icon, it takes me to my text settings. And this is the short code that you need to enter to show all your courses. Now, this can become very advanced. You can have it show the images, the pricing and show you that you're in a, uh, enrolled or not and so on. But as I mentioned, in that design part, we're going to do it in a, another video. All right. So now that I have my courses page here, I'm just going to click on exit, save and exit. Now, let's set up the system so that it works like how it's supposed to. So back over here now, the next part of this, uh, this uh, system is to have cart flows set up. So I'm going to come over here to cart flows, click on flows, and let's create our flows. So we need to create our sales funnel, which has all our flows or all our steps. So I'm going to uh, click on add new, and uh, I'm just going to go with uh, one of these templates here. It doesn't really matter which template you go with, uh, as long as you really customize it and make it look great uh, to support whatever product it is or whatever course it is that you're selling. All right. So I think it's almost done now. Everything has been imported. That looks great. So the course that I'm going to be, uh, or the landing page I'm going to be creating here is for course, a course called how to create a course. Okay. So I have how to create a course here. And uh, this is going to be my landing page. So I'm going to come over here now to my landing page. I'm going to click on edit. In fact, before I do that, I need to save this. So I'm going to hit update. Right. So everything is all saved. I'm going to click edit. So this is going to be our landing page. So we need to give this a name. So I'm just going to come down here and just make sure everything is in place. Okay, great. So here we're going to give this page a name. I'm going to hit edit here and set my permalink and I'm going to call it how to create a course. Right. With that done, I'm going to hit save, click update. Now, as I mentioned, we can actually go in here and design this, this sales page and make it look how we want. But like I mentioned, this is not really a uh, design uh, tutorial. So this is our sales page. <laughs> okay. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to learn dash 
and connect this to make it work. So over here now on uh, Learn Dash, I'm going to click on Courses. So here's our course, how to create a course. If I click on Edit, I can now go into our main settings of this particular course. So now I can go to Settings. Right, so you want to click here on Settings and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. So over here, this is where you see your Learn Dash course settings. So this is where now you select your template and this is the template for the sales page for this particular course. So if I click here on this drop down, here it is, how to create a course. I'm going to select that and click update. So now let's uh, take a look at this. So if I go back over here to my flow, in fact, over here, you need to uh, make sure you link this checkout page with your actual course. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on edit because if we don't do this step, the problem is we uh, don't get to see what the product is. So let's call the, this one is um, how to create a course. Here it is. Click update. So now I've linked my course. Okay. I'm going to hit update one more time. And of course, if you have coupon codes, you can come over here and add all your coupon codes. And uh, you can add all your order bumps, checkout offers, and this is the beauty of using cart flows. All right, so now that I've set all this up, the next step now is to take a look at our courses page. So if I refresh this page, and by the way, I'm here on my courses. So I'm already logged in. So I'm just gonna copy this URL because we are going to go into an incognito mode and see if this is working. So now that I'm logged in and I'm a student, if I come to my courses, just to see my courses and I need to uh, start learning, I can just click here on how to create a course website. And this takes me now to my course. And if there's lessons here, I can start learning right away. Now, what if this person that has come to this page is a visitor to our website and wants to see what our courses are about? Let's open now an incog incognito mode, right? So this now is pretty much the same. They come to this page, they see the courses, and now they want to sign up for this. So if they click on this now, this now should take them onto the sales page. And let's see what happens. There we go. So now we are on the sales page, but if you are a student, it takes you straight to your courses page. And this is how you need to set up your online course websites. And I'm sure you can agree with me that this is the best way to do this because it is automated. It doesn't give your students or your visitors headaches when they come onto the website. But in fact, you know, the people that get the most headache are going to be the students because they are the ones that are going to be seeing the sales page over and over again. So you shouldn't be showing the sales page if someone has already bought this. Now, the advantages of doing it this way as well is, now, as you can see here on the sales page, we can also add our upsells and downsells. Now, let me show you how that works. Now, because we're using... Um, Card flows. Card flows allows us to add our upsells and downsells on this website. So if I go back over here to card flows, click on flows, and if I go to this particular flow, I can I can click on edit, and I can add a new step here, and I can choose if it's an upsell, and if I need to add a downsell, I can add downsells and so on. So this is how you are able to make your website work very, very efficiently. And as I mentioned before, if you buy any of the plugins, which I've listed in the video description below, you get access to my courses that go into depth and show you how these are used in a real life situation. So if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. If you buy Learn Dash, you also get the Learn Dash Mastery course. If you buy Cart flows, you also get the sales funnel mastery course that comes with it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.